So as Perfect. everyone knows, Alex has always been the guy to introduce the podcast. So per <laughs> tradition, Alex, please introduce <laughs> us. Um, I'd like to welcome all of you listeners to the show I've been on since the very beginning. <laughs> And I'm going to be on until the end of time. <laughs> the, uh, the official podcast with me, your host, the leader. Take it away. Take it away. Yeah, You're the one you. taking it away. Take it away, you. He'll be. I don't know what to fucking say. I guess he'll still be on here long kids. after we quit. That's correct. I mean, Alex has always been one of the five tenets of this podcast. You know. I tried to leave, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> we, <laughs> we gave you plenty chatting. of opportunity. Alex hasn't seen his family in days. Alex has had free will to leave if he wanted to. He didn't have to stay. We didn't make him. Lies. Hey, just you're here for the pedophile jokes. You know. Oh boy. <laughs> we know God. it. Introduce the guest who isn't me. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Joining us this week is Jackson. <laughs> hey again. <laughs> I'm Australian. That's my shtick. Jackson, go ahead and introduce the guest for real. You're good at it. All right. Uh, I can introduce the guest. Uh, Kraken, yeah. you want to introduce the guest? Yeah, uh, this guest is named uh, Keenan. He goes by Kraken Online, uh, makes a lot of videos, does some Twitch streaming, and uh, you know, dabbling in indie game development. And he's really honored to be on the show. You know, take it away, Keenan. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> thanks for having me on the show, guys. This is great. I really like you. <laughs> Let's begin. I'm so glad we replaced Jackson with Keenan last yeah. week. We're actually going to drop out. Uh, Alex and Keenan, can you do the rest of the podcast? <laughs> Sure thing. I'm yeah, all right. Alex has become a Sounds bit of good. an expert at it since last week. So can we treat this like The Apprentice? Like Keenan and oh, Alex, yeah. can you like duke it out and we'll see who's better? Is that what the new Apprentice is like? I haven't seen any of it, so... Yeah, every episode, uh, Arnold Fist it. fights one of the candidates in a good gladiatorial ring. Yeah, Jack- Shit. Jackson bought the domain last that. week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting up the website get now. insulted by Trump soon. <laughs> Shitty uh, ratings, er- Jackson. Oh. So, per tradition on the official podcast, we'd like to open it up to a guest question. So, so Keenan, so, <laughs> do you play sports? <laughs> um, Musical sports? I play. <laughs> I play digital sports. I Ooh, I, I played. I, I love you. The sports. last sport that I played. Let me think. I did it like a little bit in middle school, and then I kind of quit in high school. I did one day of football in like when I was in sixth grade. That was, that's about, about as close to sports as I've been. Did you I score a touchdown? Thing. No, I actually put on my jock strap, my jock strap backwards, and then Gotta laughed at that me, also. and I left the field, <laughs> and then just took off my, he my stuff and He misunderstood the back. rules of football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First one yeah, to get penetrated loses. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. It was pretty bad, guys. It's really awkward and than the still coach pretty gets traumatic. Me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Keenan. No, it's all right. You know, it's good to get over it on a on a public podcast. Don't worry, no one's gonna hear this. We're just warming yeah. up for right now. <laughs> Do you have any dirty secrets or laundry you want to air before we go live? And say it slowly Besides so it's the, easier. The editing. Strap thing. Yeah, phonetically say it <laughs> yeah. like the alphabet if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, jeez, I don't know. That's kind of on the spot, guys. I mean. <laughs> Let me let me think. It's a, I've, I've, Do you have other sports stories? No, I've got oh, you... actually, the same day b- before I left with the whole jockstrap thing. I mean, while we're on that day, we might as well get out of the, all the bad shit that happened. Then they <laughs> they in my school they didn't let you like pick what you know what uh what like position you were. And I'm like a pretty scrawny kid. Like I'm I'm tall, but I'm really lanky. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna be a wide receiver because I like catching balls. <laughs> and they're like, no, you can't you can't opt to be a wide receiver. You got to play every role. So they put me as like a linebacker, which is like the guys in the front that get laid out. And I was up against like the tallest kid in my grade. And so every they like for five things in a row, they go like hike, and he'd throw me on the floor and whisper sorry to me, and then we'd get up and just do it again. <laughs> what a Are nice you sure guy. you were playing football? Nice guy. <laughs> this sounds yeah. like something way more sinister. Hey, he was he was a nice guy. He was just a big guy, and I really, I just I don't know why anyone would willingly do that. Just get laid out Sound again like and again and again. Of domestic abuse. <laughs> yeah, this is Jeez. your fault, uh, not mine. It, I'm sorry. Are you Bubba. dating him now, or like what? <laughs> well, we did back then for a while, but then we broke up. Yeah. I just want to get this out of the way. You're, you're leaps and bounds ahead of Alex right now. You answered my sports question beautifully. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not fair. Here, here's the next <laughs> test, Keenan. Keenan, how do you feel about the uh, age of consent? <laughs> In general, Too high, there, right? there's yeah. a few different ones. 
if you look at all the different countries, it's kind of like, a, know, like a gray like, scale. It's kind of like the time zones. Around where like, you, you live. The time zones, <laughs> no. Based on where you are in the world, it like gets older and younger and stuff. So I would just say I would advise move So which to country would you live in? Move to like Japan or something. <laughs> which country would you really prefer if you were... What would I prefer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, well... You know, I believe love has no boundaries. Got it on you know, record. Well, just... I mean, you found that out through football. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> right. I mean, I discovered that in middle school when I was playing football my, my sixth grade with this big burly man that kept laying me down. So, and then the coach got yeah. off the field and brought back the other players. And he's like, this is how you put it on a jock strap. And he showed me, and I was like, thanks, coach. And it was great. Why does it go back there? <laughs> All right, coach, I got it the first time. Do you have to adjust it every time? Why does it go back there? <laughs> to protect the front half. Now, <laughs> come with me. All, all right, right uh, all right. rest of the team, Let's do move some off. drills. Kraken, come with me to the showers. <laughs> Kraken. And the rest of this is my Z2 Yeah, they, name. they called me Kraken back then. I exclusively went by Kraken in So that's, what, that's where really you got the name odd. from. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was the sound of my, my balls cracking <laughs> on the first hit without a, oh. a jock strap ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's what an actual hoot. question. So, where uh, have you explained where Kraken came from? Does it mean anything? Is it just a where have I come from? <laughs> well, not okay. No, not you. It's a Minecraft thing, isn't it? <laughs> Your name, <laughs> a Minecraft streamer. <laughs> that's me. Oh wait, are you asking me or just asking? Yeah, no, me I'm, else? I'm asking. Where does like what does Kraken mean? Not not you as a person. Oh, that, like where did that come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, also school. Uh, a little bit before <laughs> middle school, but I was back in like. Mm, lower school, I think it was like kindergarten or first grade. Um, I would do this is gonna sound incredibly nerdy, um, which and it is. It was essentially uh, I would grab a bunch of friends that didn't like sports, and I was like, hey, you know, I love games, and I have an idea for a fun game we can play. And we would all go out on the uh, you know the, the recess field, and I would basically LARP with them, where I would like describe a story of what was happening where they're the main characters and they'd have to like make up their minds of what they wanted to do and then based on their choices I would like narrate an outcome and like the antagonist of this whole adventure was Kraken like this kind of puppet master guy um I'm looking <clears> back and on it's like I didn't know LARPing was a thing I was just like hey let's just like make up our own adventures yeah we're the kids of America <laughs> and just like run around and then and, pop like, music <laughs> history was born exactly wow. I invented that song god damn <laughs> You should have totally made up a cooler story for that. <laughs> Charlie's not oh, impressed. Hey. Wow. That was super cool, man. It was cool back then. Charlie used to call himself Ninja Shadows oh, or something. No, my gamer tags were the worst. My first gamer tag was Fast Fighter, and then I was Gats Go Wild, which led to the most uncomfortable situation I'd been in for a long time. The Verizon. What is a Gat? Uh, like a gun? Yeah. Like the gat gun? Like, you know, in songs, there's, you know, gats. Yeah, it's going wild. So, yeah. you know, I thought it was cool. I have no My, idea what that means. Okay, well, rap songs say gats when they're talking about guns sometimes. There's a little hip-hop culture for you. And oh, thanks. I, I thought it was cool by going gats go wild until the Verizon guy was this burly, intimidating, tattooed man fixing my internet and my Xbox Live. <laughs> And then when it came up as Gats Go Wild, he insulted me right to my face as a fucking 12-year-old boy. It just made me ashamed. <laughs> what? what did he say? So then I cha- what? And then I changed it to critical. What? what then he, he tackled say? you and whispered sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he adjusted your jock strap and left. Wait, so he, he just, he saw your name on, like, your Xbox, and he's like, Puh, shitty name, kid, and he spit in your face and walked out the door? Like, what was the exchange? It wasn't a lot. I mean, what is he going to do, like, slap me in the face with my parents there? No, he's just like... <laughs> Sighed and then said, "This is dumb." That's all he said. Is this is dumb? <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> that was enough to break me. And he like took out a napkin from his back pocket and he wrote "critical" and he put it in your, you know, in your hand and he gave you a gentle nod and you're like, "Yes." I'm passing this the is, torch to you, Charlie. Well, I didn't <laughs> exactly. I didn't change it to "critical" right away. I went to "mob" and ins- or "m o b insano" or something. Yeah, "m o b o insano." <laughs> So, I, so you're like all about guns for a while. Oh. You're like a big gun junkie. Money over juggalo. bitches. Yeah, that was the name of the clan. <laughs> oh wait, so it was Mobo. Wait, Mob was the thing. Uh, it was Mob Man. Mob O Insane O. Mob O Insane O with the clan tag guns over bitches. Money, money. I may over have fought bitches. you in Call of Duty at some point. No, yeah. I, I yeah, I was strictly, <laughs> I was strictly Halo. <laughs> yeah, I was a Halo guy too. I did a uh, Halo three. Um, you ever do game battles? Oh, you guys ever... God, yeah. What are game battles? I played a lot of Halo 3. What are game battles? 
It was a website okay, for so clan matches. Oh, right. Yeah, exactly. It was before. before Halo Three was like my renaissance in games. It was before. Yeah, it was. It's exploded. like it's like the MLG. I I yeah, used to just play like MLG. custom games in Halo Three, like Trash Compactor and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was my. Yeah. See, so that was like my passion. Like I loved the custom games and like theater mode and like making my own maps. Yeah. Same. But like all my friends in high school were all into like game battles and they're like, hey, we should make a make a team and do like LAN parties where we play against other teams. And so, like, I was dragged out to those, and I, I hate competitive play, but I was, like, you know, made to play with all these other, you know, 14, 15-year-olds, like, in this, like, competitive, like, Halo session, and, you know, we'd match against other teams and, like, trash talk them, and, like, Aww. oh, man, it was it was a whole culture. It was. Pro Gamer That's was adorable. born. So, Alex yeah. is usually the one that asks most of the questions on our podcast. Do you have any questions to ask the guest this week, Alex? That's true. Um, when was the last time you got a haircut? Haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Alex asking the hard hitting issues. Yeah, this is the this is the heavy shit. I'm glad we got out of the you know the molesting in, in high school out of the way. <laughs> that's all, <laughs> the that's all pushy shit. When was the last time you got a haircut? Hey hey, <laughs> Kraken, have you have you ever met Alex before? Sorry, we didn't introduce you to each other, which is important. No. Yeah, Alex I'd love is to, a though. little bigger than you. Like that line bigger than in me. what yeah. sense? Yeah, I'm six foot four. Oh wow. Wait, holy sh are you are six you foot really? four? I'm joking. I met. I was making a joke that I'm bigger well, than you. How high? How bigger. high are you, Alex? How what am I? Oh, how tall. high are you? Tall. How high the word is I? tall. Scale of one to Extremely ten. How high, high are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about six foot. That's respectable. That's still. I'm like six foot one. So still yeah. significantly yeah. taller than me. I'm. I'm so. six foot four. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. So you are the biggest. I absolutely oh, am. He's the biggest and the baddest. Is your is is your winky like proportionally? Oh huge? man, my pee pee <laughs> is quite just say that. big. It's much bigger than the other kids in class. No, I'm I'm for seriously. I'm asking you. I like, mean, no, it's <laughs> straight. I mean, like like the real answer is I believe I have an average size wiener. What do you want me to tell you? That's a shame. I'm not gonna be all like, oh man, I'm a giant. I like how you Alex turned from scoop. asking it. Yeah. Alex asked an easy question to the guest and then fucking spit roasted Andrew with a difficult one. How big's your dick, bro? I, I want to flash back. I want to flash back a little bit to Alex's episode when he's like, "Oh, I can't say that. That's really silly. I'm too shy." And now he's like, "Hey, Andrew, how big's your wiener?" <laughs> he really got comfortable over the break. <laughs> he's no longer the new guy, so he's still situated. I even broke him in. <laughs> So just to confirm, Kraken, are you all right for this this uh, this time every week from now on? Oh, Jesus, yeah, I'm hearing this, and I hear like, this culture of this guy that was dragged in and broken into this like salty bastard that's like yelling people about their dicks. <laughs> this is works. my future. That's, I'm seeing into the future right now. That's all taken Speak. out of context. He, he's here because he wants to be. We're not forcing him. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that no, right, that is Alex? Not We're not forcing you. <laughs> no, there's there's. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not twisting yeah, his arm. Yeah. Nope. Speaking so of when, haircuts, though, yeah. Keenan, you, you're going to have to get a bus cut if you want to join us. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I really don't like that, guys. I'll send I, you know. the, I got my haircut like a month ago. I'll send you our patches but... later to put on your sleeves. Oh, no. <laughs> We're oh, being no. a bit too oh, forceful because... here. We've, we've, got a, we've got a Stockholm Syndrome him first. Oh, I forgot. Keenan, are you a Jew? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do when someone actually says yes? He's going to hit his Turkish Jew alarm and all the fucking commandos are going to raid their house. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, actually, that's we're, gonna, we're, we're all right with it because Andrew's a Jew. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> it's acceptable. Okay. Well, your really dad's not. a Jew. In Judaism, you cannot leave Judaism. Okay. You still technically count as a Jew. You're just not you know what? That's fulfilling a great your question Jewish obligations. Keenan, how do you feel about fathers passing Judaism down to their sons? Isn't it only the mothers that pass it down? No, it's Unless you choose to... Oh, checkmate. Yeah, really. It sounds like Kaya doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be a first. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what, like, what, what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see that one uh, show out of... Uh, I don't know. One of those third world Muslim shitholes where they had a show, and but... It's a prank show. They were interviewing someone just like we did with Alex and Keenan, but they told the guy just as a joke, they told him, hey, we're all Jews. And the guy, in an effort not to look like a bad Muslim, he started beating the shit out of the host. Oh. No, no, Holy no shit. Wow. I didn't know about that. That's fucked up. 
Were you there? That's a we- Why do you Kenan, have that did, family home video? How was video that experience card? for you? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we went the same way to I'm, different I'm people. I'm starting to that. question my decision to be on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. This seems like a very different sort of culture. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So between Alex and Keenan, who's beaten the most minorities? <laughs> Mm. And they are Answer one at a time, though, for before. my exposed video. It would make it easier for me. <laughs> the only fight I was in was in my freshman year when I was hit when I was playing football by that big guy that took me down. That was about the closest I've been to a fight. So but you, you fought the big guy? Huh? You fought the big guy? Well, f- fought him in the on the field of, of football, the good old <laughs> battlefield. <that> they, <laughs> <laughs> you run at them, and then they run at you, and the bigger one knocks you over. And in that case, it was him. It's a pretty cool fight. It's a good fight. <laughs> yeah, just to charge at each other. Fucking jousting yeah, style. A, yeah, pretty much. It's like, Do you guys all fight? You guys all big fighters? Was, let's, yeah. let's hear your best fight stories. <laughs> Charlie, you want to go first? <laughs> yeah, man. Fighter. Uh, he's short, yeah, he, but he's a big fighter. You, you know, man, it's not the size of the man in the fight. It's the size of the man in the fight. And I'm a big fighter. I love I love my <laughs> fights. You want to take this one away, Andrew? Tell him about, tell him about my fights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I I mean I can't tell if you're joking, but I have an actual fight story. <laughs> all right, great, Andrew. Oh, boy. Did, I'll just let Was my it? fight speak for themselves. Go Was ahead, Andrew. One of your yeah, <laughs> all the all the downed opponents that Charlie has cowering in fear. Um, when I was in elementary school, I had a friend named Matthew, and uh, we were we were like friends, but. There was that awkward moment where I was a social fucking idiot, so I started, like, copying everything he did, because I was like, this will make me cool. So, like, this was, like, fourth and fifth grade, so I was like, oh, if he's going to go on the computer, I'm going to go on the computer. If he's going to, like, do this coloring shit, I'm going to color in this shit. And he got so fed up with it, he was like, I'm going to fight you if you don't stop. And I was like, all right, let's fight. If I fight, I'll be cool, because you're going to fight. So, um, we went to the fucking playground, like, the, the one in the park after school. And uh, we kind of stared at each other for a bit, and then he body slammed me, and I laid on the ground as a like cry for attention, and then everyone left. <laughs> oh, Sounds God. like a bad anime scene. It was really yeah. awkward. Very bad. I thought like this if I laid there week, long right? enough, people would care. Yeah, that was last <laughs> yeah, week. Yeah, Alex, you want to tell that joke? That was last week. Yeah, that happened to me last week. Uh, <laughs> that was you. The delivery could have been better. <laughs> your, your soul wasn't in it. I'm taking back the right. <laughs> <laughs> Give him board burgers, see Wait. what he does with it. By by copying him, do you mean you'd, like he would go on the computer and you just like go to the computer next to him, or like so? What would happen was, was just, like immediately. Yeah. Oh you'd yeah. Mimic him or what was? No, immediately. So like we, it'd be like free time, and he'd be like, "I'm gonna go play Bugdom on the computer." Which if no one's played Bugdom, great fucking game. And uh, I'd be like, "Well, I'm gonna play Bugdom." <laughs> we're not on this advertised. Computer. We're not sponsored by them. I'd be like, "I want to play Bugdom on this computer," and then he'd be like, "Okay, well, since you did that, I'm gonna go color in this shit," and I'm like, "Then I'm gonna color in this shit," like it, instantaneously. I would copy him. You sounded like an annoying cunt. I kind or of. Or you just wanted to spend am. some time with the guy, you know? You're like, hey, let's do an activity together. Yeah, He's that like, sounds kind of sad. Stop spending time with me, Dude, or I'm going to lay you out. You're the you friend say, yes, I've sir. never had. God damn, that was touching. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he got so fed up, he challenged Call me like to a fight, it. and we had like six people at the playground watch as he just body slammed me, and that was the end. Did you keep copying him after that? <laughs> yeah, I body slammed <laughs> myself. <laughs> 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 I got up and did a flip into the dirt. <laughs> no, like fucking um, fight no, club after scene. That, after that, we didn't talk for a couple days, and then we became friends again. Mm. We made up. You didn't oh. need to. You didn't need to tack that on, Andrew. I don't care if you're friends with a kid. The fan fucking Charlie's, tastic, Charlie. Charlie's getting jealous. Yeah, really. Yeah, He's like, I wish I had a fight story. I just I want a friend to body slam me. Yeah. I wish my friends would body slam me. No one ever pays me in gum. Are you fucking backwards referencing fuck? I know what you're talking about. Do you want me to body slam you? Tell us. Can you, there's at least four of us here that don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. It's so. fine. It's a commercial. So last room we'll go now. ahead and segue into. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll go ahead and segue into the next topic. That's a staple on the official podcast, which Alex helped invent. So Amazing I post-book. have what I, I have a what I consider a magnum opus of comedy. It's one of the best jokes I've ever told. Oh my God. Is this I, really going to be a weekly thing? I tell it to every guest, and they all get a big hoot out of it, especially Alex. He just couldn't stop cracking up. So I'm going to see... God, it's funny. I just want to see how you'd react, Keenan, because I think you deserve the utmost from this comedy podcast. So I'm just going to tell the story. I was driving down I-4 with okay. my girlfriend, and it was late at night, and there was a light-up sign for Bur- Boardwalk City Burgers, which was just a Boardwalk City Burgers joint. You know, they have homeless people throw some burgers on the George Foreman's, and it's a good old time. Well, I was driving by, 
and I made a real wisecrack. I said, boardwalk burgers, more like board. <laughs> oh, he can't even finish it. <laughs> you idiot. It's, it's so good. It, it's just so You ruined good. the punchline. No, no. So I'll start over. So I was driving down. There, actually. <laughs> there was a boardwalk burger sign. And I, I made a wisecrack. I said, you know, boardwalk burgers, more like board burgers, because the burgers aren't having any fun. And my God, it was the best joke I've ever done. <laughs> this guy has 1.6 million subscribers. Oh, that's the funny part. Well, you get part. the joke, right? You get the joke, right, Keenan? Because the bur- it's, it's dead cows. They're not the bur- Yeah, the burgers are getting yeah, fried up. They're not having fun. It's not fun. their party. It's your party yeah, they- when they go in your mouth. Oh, they didn't like that you. now I get it. <laughs> Everyone loves that joke, Keenan. That's I'm pretty glad good. You enjoyed it. Uh, Keenan saved that joke. I mean, I wouldn't even say it's a joke. It's more of like a logical... You know, conclusion. It, a implies B. Conclusion. It's, it's like yeah. a, it's a very, it's, it's a very confident stance. It's the zenith of, call it, call it what so it is, Keenan. It's the, it's the zenith of comedy. Okay. Yeah. You can call it that. Can you say that for <laughs> my exposed? Can you just, say it? Can we get that on record for Keenan, please? This is the zenith of some of comedy. All right, great. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, Jackson was apparently also. shuffling some furniture in the background. <laughs> I'm rearranging my room. <laughs> Jackson works while he podcasts. <laughs> Cleaning houses. Jackson, that's a- it was a very good joke, and I'm sure she loved it. Did she love it? Was it like no? She was didn't she like laughing it. and hollering all the way it, home. It, w- sort of it thing? went over her head. It was. It's a. It's a. It's a layered joke. It's a complicated one. <laughs> it's a thinking you have to really joke. Think about it. Are you yeah. dating a child? No. Oh, here we well, go. Well, I was. Jackson, I failed please. to mention that. No, We've been trying to get off of pedophilia, and here you go bringing up your favorite hobby. Yeah, you're gonna make Alex leave. I bet he's just contemplating all of his options. Seriously, right he's gonna—he's gonna shut. The and he's podcast the one that down. organized the podcast. Yeah, really. <laughs> I don't think he's, he's gonna, capable. He's of gonna take at this down point. the website, do everything, not invite Keenan back. Yeah, I went to hang up, but the end call <laughs> button has actually vanished. <laughs> She's gone. I paid for that p- feature. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Kraken, <laughs> one of my favorite. <laughs> I've just knocked over a box. Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Kraken. Are you in your meth lab right now? Keenan. Yes. Yes, sir. One of my uh, favorite questions to ask any kind of participating guest on this podcast is, what do you think of the podcast? Are you well, a Have you watched any of our previous episodes? I watched about half of one, about half an hour before I came on. That's more than anyone else. Just what I was getting into. Yeah. And really, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> it's It's failed to disappoint so far. I feel like... Everything I just saw in the last podcast is happening again. It's really like Groundhog's Day in a way, which is pretty. It's pretty special. Do you have your own podcast? <laughs> so we're monotonous. No, but usually when I'm done a stream and Good. I've drunk a lot and it's like 5 a.m., I'll just start talking okay, with whoever is on the, the call with me, that. and we just keep going for a while, and that ends up being pretty, uh, pretty raunchy. But this is this is comparable. This is pretty much kind the of same a gray thing. area, but I'll let you get away with it. All right, thank you. Oof, this is our. <laughs> You're lucky you got his permission. You have Turkish. Blessing. He knows all types of ways to hurt people. He was hovering his finger over the commandos button, but you'll live today. All right, cool. let's move on. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the next topic, Alex, go take it away here. You, you've usually got all the <laughs> questions. Do you, did you bring the yeah, questions? Yeah, as well? Alex just never he, shuts the I, fuck <laughs> up. Usually. I know. I've just I've got loads of topics actually. I'm gonna scrap the one I was thinking of, but no. But oh come on. Up. That, that was good. Not, no, listen. You mentioned Halo Three earlier, right? Yeah, I did. I did. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are your you guys' opinions on on where Halo has gone? Oh, don't get me fucking started, Alex. You know I hate Halo. <laughs> 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 well, after after Halo Whoa. Three, then what happened? Wait, 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 Jack. Halo that's, Four that's... had a good campaign, shit multiplayer. Halo Five had a shit campaign and a good multiplayer. I just don't know what they're doing anymore, Alex. Jackson, that's really I funny. I completely agree. You with should you. make a video series on things you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great that's idea. a really I'll good idea myself, Alex stay Halo. out of this Jackson, <laughs> you're onto something here what <laughs> am, I, am I still the guest here or is it Kraken's turn oh do I have to say Jackson, something we're not inviting yeah, you it's back. Your I have another topic if you want do you have the talking okay, stick no. more interactive. Go ahead. I'll take the talking stick um, I have not played a Halo game since Halo 3 so my opinion probably doesn't matter much but I liked Halo 3 a lot and um, it was kind of my introduction to YouTube, so I have like a special place <clears> in my heart <throat> there. I was on 
you may not know this. I was on Machinima's top ten confirmed kills in like <laughs> you know fucking two thousand seven or whatever. What the fuck like does that mean? Did Machinima kill you? <laughs> I remember those. No, it sounds like it though. It was basically it was like I went off one of those main cannon things and got like a a collateral no scope headshot. Oh my, my god! Are you the Kraken like, too? You yes. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Fuck, found me out. I saw that in two thousand and eight. That was the greatest That's shot. That's right. The one and only. I, I submitted that <laughs> shot and I was like, man, if this gets in, this will be the change of my life. <laughs> this will get me on did, the official and they, podcast. They aired it as like the number three best confirmed kill of that week. And I like poured over the comments and I'm like, look, these people, <laughs> they're all calling it luck, but you know, they, they watched me. They watched me do something. <laughs> and I was like, I should do more of that. And I started making videos on YouTube and, you know, it all took off from there. So, so that, so that sounds like that sounds like it was a skill based video clip, but now you ventured into comedy making. What? Yes. Well, you <laughs> that, know, that there's one skill. <laughs> yeah, one's a lot it's easier. True. And it, one's a lot easier than the other. And there's also. Um, if you go on my channel, one of the earliest videos I've made is a Call of Duty or a Call of Duty for uh, sniper montage, which is like 11 minutes long, and it's just individual kills of me killing people with the sniper, it's set to like <laughs> Dream Theater, and like it's just it's a crazy, it's a crazy like edgy like part of my life that is like eternalized on YouTube. That's the other thing I love is like you can look back and just see the personal growth of a person from like yeah. their original videos to like their later ones and. Man, I had I grew up on YouTube. Like I was I was fourteen when I first started making videos. So like there's some real real cringy shit back there. So was Charlie, <laughs> weren't you, Charlie? I was eleven, yeah. Oh my fucking Whoa. Whoa, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah. God damn. But they weren't they weren't very good. I didn't have Did like you a... get on Machinima? I tried <laughs> I tried so Were hard. You like the confirm two? The confirmed kills thing he's talking about, I strived my whole life to get on, but my clips fucking blew anus, so I never even had a chance. <laughs> Since you were 11 while Kraken was 14. Yeah, yeah, dude, you gotta give yourself a couple of years. It's tough. <laughs> Are you, Is Machinima never... still around? Mm, I don't know. Oh, wait. They're technically around. Andrew should years. know. He was, he was fucking partnered with them until two weeks ago. Yeah, not anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh, what happened? That's the nail in the coffin. They're gone now for good. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only Filing thing keeping the business Filing for bankruptcy now. They're like, can Keenan, you imagine you... the amount of dollar we're gonna lose when he quits? <laughs> <laughs> what did they take 75 percent or something no they they uh so i they i know that they're one of the people that's like oh this contract's for six million years and then they eventually sent me an email like hey you have to agree to these terms or we're gonna remove you from the contract and i went okay fucking do it you won't and they did <laughs> <laughs> so i am currently looking for did. a network hit and <laughs> Currently looking for what? <laughs> <laughs> he gambled it out. Gambled it, lost. <laughs> he lost nah, it. Machinima, if you're listening, please take Andrew back. He's lost. Nah. If does anyone have some some cringy videos to share of their their original times on YouTube? Oh, I'd, I'd love to. Oh hear yeah. Them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was I was about twelve when I started making videos as well, and one of my first videos was about like a myth video on the ghost of halo i've still got it up on my channel because it's fun to go back and listen to myself as a 12 year old talking about such a stupid subject but hmm. yeah that was pretty cringy it was like an information video it. what what was the the ghost what was the theory uh I, that was like 10 years ago kraken oh, no one, Come no on. one forgets a you ghost the jackson uh, tell this tell the ghost story let's hear it uh it, <laughs> are you ready to be spooked i'm ready <laughs> all right all right That's alex right. Take <laughs> yeah, Alex. So the theory. What do I have to do? No, no, shut up. <laughs> uh, it was on. <laughs> it was. Do you remember the map lockout? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there was a. There was like. Sometimes I, I guess Bungie's netcode would screw up, and it would spawn like a character or a player model, and it basically mm. the model would just skate around the map, killing people. Like it, it, it wouldn't have an, any animation or anything. It wasn't like translucent or anything. You could still see it, and it had a name or something. And it would just like roll around the map, shooting and killing people while you were in like a custom game, just like one on one. And like a character would join and then skate around. And it was some spooky shit. Is that real? I I, I don't know. I've, I've been what? you made a video about it. <laughs> You've got Keenan's actual Motherfucker, child. Just make this up. Here. Just go check. No, I'm not making it up. Yeah. Do you want to take your audience there too? <laughs> Watch the video and find out. <laughs> I'd love to see the video. This, I mean, I'm intrigued. Uh, well, I was 12 years old, so I didn't have the full. I, I couldn't like venture out there and put on my whole research 
mm-hmm. uh, put my whole research arsenal to use. So there was still a lot of loose ends that I couldn't quite figure out. I'll revisit excuse. it someday. Haven't you watched okay, Stranger now, Things? Yeah. Kids are great at solving paranormal mysteries. Exactly. <laughs> well, this was on a whole new level, Kai. You don't understand. Yeah, you should do... So what I've always wanted to do is just, like, out of nowhere, just make a, like, a part two to a video that I made back in 2007 yeah. without any, like, <laughs> any other context. That's, that's a good concept. Those are the first parts. Yeah, that's a really that's a good idea. idea. It's just, like, a 12-year-old yeah, really talking, clever. and actually, then suddenly it's, like, actually, a 23-year-old. Kraken, I've got a proposition <laughs> for you. Or Kanan. Okay. Whatever you want to be called. Yes. Um, do you want to make the part two to my ghost video? Yeah, even better. I'll just do it for you, and you put it on your channel. No, 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 like, no, no. Wow, I would, this guy I want really you, has changed. I want <laughs> you to put it on your channel so that everyone can. Figure Sounds like out he moved to America. No, it'll be perfect. You yeah. do part two, put it on your channel, Keenan, and then drop all of Jackson's credit from it. <laughs> Anyone else have some uh, some cringy <laughs> early video stories? My first I videos still were with. I fondly a... remember oh. the time I oh. watched Don Quixote with Charlie like two months ago. <laughs> good old times. <laughs> Those were the. Good I actually days. saw that video. That looked uh, that looked like a lot. It was a, a lot to handle. It was a hoot and a holler. Really missed those days. That was a good show. <laughs> that was a great show. <laughs> Shout outs to Donkey Ollie and Farmer yeah, John. In retrospect, whatever horses oh, you're petting. Donkey- we should get Farmer John on the podcast. Yeah, he doesn't know what computers are. But uh, as far as cringy videos go, when I first started, I was just using the handheld camera. So all of my early videos on like Gears of War, Rainbow Six Vegas, you could hear my parents talking to me in the background with me talking to them. And I tried to cover up with music, but I didn't know how Windows Movie Maker worked. So I'd usually just play music from my iPod and it didn't really come out well. And you'd always hear me talking to my parents in the old videos. And then YouTube took them down because the music I used was copyrighted. Oh, so they're not, they're not, <laughs> no, like, you can't uh, find yeah. them anymore. Uh, don't you still do that? Yeah, it's still all handheld <laughs> cameras, and my parents still talk to me. Every time actually, he has to record, he has to drag his parents into the room. <laughs> all right, background. They're sitting, come they're on, sitting start right talking. Here. Yeah, come on, mom. Come then on, he mom. asks permission to jag off. <laughs> <laughs> for, for mine, uh, when I used to do like call, you can cut my videos in half, and just the latter half is just pure fucking cringe shit. Uh, but when I did like Call of Duty commentaries for the twenty people that cared. I uh, got it in my head. The brilliant idea was references were really funny, so I would I would just try to remember <laughs> references to like old '90s TV shows and cartoons that I could, and just work in as many as I could. <laughs> and eventually, and be like like a <laughs> good. There's, there'd be like a crazy stretch too. Like you'd be like going down, you like see a building. Like this looks like it's in Bel Air. Yeah. Oh, Fresh no. Prince of Bel Air. Whoa! Yeah. Well, not, what do we think, everybody? Not that bad, but like I, I distinctly remember one where I was like playing the Call of Duty and I shot some dude with a rocket. <clears throat> do you remember all that when Kel would scream Jupiter? You remember he was like <laughs> yeah. Jupiter. Oh. So every time oh, I blew someone up, I'd be like, I blew that guy to Jupiter. <laughs> oh, um, my but eventually that just I made me that's, so uh, flaccid. The, the, eventually I realized that's basically the family guy of commentaries and I dropped that super hard yeah. when I picked did, up did on everybody that. love that <laughs> Pe- there was a group that liked it calm down Alex there were some people that thought it was funny but then I realized that I'm the fucking scum of a human being so I stopped that <laughs> Alex likes it see there you go <laughs> yeah. Alex is my biggest it. fucking fan <laughs> Do you know what ones I did the cringy videos on <laughs> Alex can you please leave <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. Why am I here? All right, yeah. Tell your story. Tell your story. I love you. Um, so <laughs> there was that trend for a while where it was like games in real life, <laughs> oh like <God>. videos. <laughs> I did a Minecraft in real life. Oh my god! <laughs> Is it oh. Which block oh. were you in? It? No, it's it's hidden away. <laughs> I wasn't a block. You fucking burn the tapes. <laughs> God, it was. This fucking is the real awful. exposed here. Make it public. Wait, wait. You've you've said you've never shown your face before. Was your face in this video? This was this was a different channel. This oh was wow. Be- way before that. Oh yeah. Come on, wow. super sleuths, find it, dig it up. Some yeah. say if you watch those Minecraft videos that he made back then, fucking Samara <laughs> will out of your computer. Jackson, monitor. make a make a ghost story <laughs> video about it, Jackson. <laughs> Yeah, you want to make part two? Actually, no, part three. <laughs> Kraken's making part two. <laughs> okay. You're outsourcing all of the work <laughs> of, of your series. <laughs> when I I'll, edit the I'll help. I'll consult. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do some consult work. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Crack, I'm serious. It's an it's an untapped, like, source oh, of... it sounds like it, yeah. Genius. There is... 
did you all see that that uh there is a bunch of like fake videos of like Halo and like Call of Duty. Oh, and there's yeah. that one of like oh there's a Call of Duty glitch or like Easter egg where if you knock on the door three times an old grandma comes out and sprays you yeah, with a machine gun. Yeah, I remember that oh, shit. Oh, I remember Anyone that, see that one. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. It scared the shit out and of me. It was like, like a really <laughs> terribly <laughs> superimposed image of it. I yeah. Remember that shit exactly. But when you're a kid and, and it was like done on like a shaky hand cam so you like believe it yeah. because I don't know. You can't fake you that. To edit. Didn't yeah. they? You can't fake that. It's, it's true. Didn't they green screen crop it so she had like no feet, but she opened the door in full view, so she just like, it was half of a model because that was all the green screen footage was. Yeah, probably. God. It it definitely didn't wasn't perfect, but man, at that age, I t- you would accept anything you, your little eyes yeah, saw. I so. totally remember that. I remember the exact video you're talking about. It's insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, Kraken, know- what kind of Minecraft luck would you be? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Minecraft uh, luck? Luck. Luck. You say? luck. Luck. You know the luck. things that Minecraft luck. made oh. out of? Yeah, yeah. I'm totally redstone. Yeah, redstone. You Why? think you're smart? <laughs> Whoa, okay. I'm just saying I got a lot of purposes, you know? Like, you can use me for a lot of different things. I'm, I'm versatile. Like I'm versatile. ghost videos. Yeah, you can make, Josh, I can make a ghost video. I can make a COD work. montage. <laughs> Dude, lay me down. Make a path out of me, and I'll bring you switches. This, <laughs> I don't fucking know. What do you use redstone this for? Building is I can light your home. So, Keenan, did you know that uh, Kaya used to blow loads in a cougar's face? Like a picture of a cougar? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. It was a cheat, Kaya, actually, mind you. Was that episode one when you talked about that? I don't know. We're throwing uh, way back. Yeah, Kraken, was, was it? That was like ages ago. <laughs> Alex just yucking it up. He loves it. That's why he's here. <laughs> Is this true? Alex, can we invite you back for like every episode, but all you do is laugh at our jokes? <laughs> we like, man. Alex is just sitting is there true? taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how you make a successful podcast. Is this story true? Yeah. Answer me. No, it's Wh- true. Which one? Tell Wait, him, So did you yeah, blow a load at a cougar, like a literal no, animal no, cougar a picture, face? A picture, a picture. Okay, like an Animal Geographic. <laughs> Alex, if you had but been why? listening to my to our podcast since episode one, you'd know. Routed. He's been on podcast since episode one. He just yeah. forgot it. Yeah, but he, he wasn't paying attention. He sits in stoic silence and politely lets us all talk. Exactly. <laughs> Alex is truly a, s- a great person. Yeah, I fucking love Alex. Tell the story, though, Kaya. It's going to be interesting. I'm sure Keenan only signed up for this so he could hear the yeah. story, so please. Yeah, for the second time on the same podcast. I used to have a <laughs> poster that was handed to me by my uncle or someone, I don't know. It was, it was a National Geographic poster. I actually remember it a little better now. It's a cheetah and it said Discover Africa. And on the back side, my oh. uncle had uh, glued on like pictures he cut out of newspapers, like women in uh, bikinis. And for whatever reason, whenever I would jack off around that time when I was like, I don't know, like 12, 16 or 17. I, yeah, last week, basically. I used to, for some reason, go out of my way to uh, give the cheetah a facial. I don't know why, I just... Uh, what? I... Kraken, it's easy to understand. It, it's turkey, anything know. goes. Yeah. Okay, it's turkey, yeah, okay. Yeah. You know what turkey is? I mean... It's a country, right? And yeah, food. And, you know, I mean, relatively speaking, a cheetah is a pretty luxury, you know, luxurious animal. They're hard to come by, yeah. 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 So yeah, that's you can get. pretty much the story, and then, <laughs> and and then over time, the che- like, it developed a layer of yellow, gooey, crusty oh. cum on the yeah surface that kind of just ran down. I, I don't know no. why. All right, follow up question. Follow up question. What, was this the same magazine your father used? Is that why he had these? It things? wasn't the magazine. It was a poster, and it was his uncle. What? It was a family heirloom. <laughs> oh, when he was a man, he got it passed down generation from generation. He just added Wait, to the list. So this poster was hanging up publicly in a room that your family <laughs> would like public. frequent? It's his private wanking room. <laughs> that he built himself just... with his bare hands. <laughs> it was like a carton poster that I'm actually looking at right now that I speak of. <laughs> like you, what, you still <laughs> have it still <laughs> in your room? <laughs> Did you have it I'd... framed and mounted? Is no, it laminated I... by this point? No, I just... Still... No, I, I, I looked to the side while I was thinking trying to remember and then i saw it in the behind my uh, dresser thing it's <laughs> but still you've, you've it actually all these years and that must have done like fucking 
shit to your psychology when you, you go to bed and you see that and you're reminded of this guilt of just like yeah. no, it's spilling your load over. and right, precious down, man Einstein. seed <laughs> all over. Okay, maybe you're not guilt. guilty. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're not guilty. He'll All do right, it again, I'll give too. You that. Maybe you're proud. You, you look at that thing and you give it a wink and you give it, you blow it a little kiss and you say, I'll see you tomorrow, baby. And you wake up and there it is. And it's just waiting for you. This yeah, melty, and, yellow, uh, yeah, crusty. Um, Kai, actual like question. Up to five di- times a day, I discover Africa. <laughs> Kai, <laughs> Kai, actual, actual legitimate question. What would you do if you went to bed and like, check your poster and then you woke up and it's just gone? Just no warning. No one says anything. It's just gone. What would you do? I, I mean, I. Nothing. Mean, would you freak out there? Like, would you feel like someone <laughs> has your one. burden now? All your sins and guilt? <laughs> no, I no, mean, I don't no think guilt. they would just immediately assume, oh, this must be cum. <laughs> <laughs> when they look at the front. <laughs> That's cum, I know it when I see it. They're scanning it with, like, fucking monocles or something, but... <laughs> I mean, it happens <laughs> once where my... Where, like, five or six years ago, my mom discarded my cum rag that was just so crusty, it was clanky at that point. Why the and fuck did you clean up you after yourself? It? Why did you- hold on, wait. I did clean up after myself, that was the clean-up tool. You cannot clean up the <laughs> It's not cleaning up after yourself! <laughs> I was- I was procrastinating and pushing off the- like, I was- I was thinking, okay, next week I'll throw this away or something, like tomorrow, but just this one more time, I'll just jack off into it. <laughs> Why did you keep it posted, uh-huh. though, Kaya? This is new information to me. That it this is an original a conscious podcast. conscious decision to keep it. I, I just didn't throw it out, I guess. Are you in the same room that you were when you were doing this? What? It's behind my door. Are you in this? My property. No, no, no. I don't know why you're so you shocked by the fact that I would still own something that I owned like five years ago. It's got wait, sentimental Wait, value. you were doing this five years ago? Why would you keep what? a <laughs> why would you keep a layer of cum discover Africa cheetah? <laughs> I'm so concerned. I have so much junk in my room and especially under my bed it's not really a specific <laughs> Wait, item I that I, I But you hung this up. You like you yeah. got it and you kept it and you're like this oh, is no, going right here. So oh, I can do you like when you <laughs> tour your up, house I... do you show it off prominently? Uh, no, it's never <laughs> and it's this never been hung up. Though. I've never hung up anything in my room, my rooms. Jackson. This... Uh, I've got the next giveaway. For the 300 retweets, you get Kaya's <laughs> come poster. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You just said you never hung it up, right? Does, yeah. Does that mean that, like, every time you were, you would, like, hold it down on the floor like a victim while you were doing it? <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. How would you... <laughs> wait, what? I thought it was on the wall, and the whole point was you could just I turn around yeah. for convenience and, like, shoot onto it like a bullseye. No, I, it, <laughs> this got it was a lot more deep, Kaya. Waist level, yeah. that's why it was so easy. Waist level? <laughs> yeah, I just always leaned against the wall. <laughs> what the fuck Did is that? Did you like you? seriously jab your dick into the wall? <laughs> no. You fucking chained it. Oh no, like it's you, uh... Your parents no, just hear this every it's night? Like, no, the poster is on like a cart. It's like a hardcover poster. I don't know what they're called. A book? Like it's, it's not a book. <laughs> I'm glad you reiterated the story. Vile. We found out so many more details. Oh, there's yeah, a this lot. became a lot more strange. Yeah, I really. Mean, it's really, this isn't previously unknown information. I'm sure we, I've talked about this like three times now. No, a, no, no, this is this Charlie. is a new level. I, I assume the poster no. was burned by now. I didn't know it was still a big part of your life. I, I feel like if well, you tried I mean, to light does, that thing, it would just slop and sit there. Do people? Do people come into your house, Kyle? Do you <laughs> yeah. know anyone? <laughs> I mean, thankfully, up until now, no one has caught me with my, like, cum rag. <laughs> just in, in the you, crime it scene. It sounds like you... <laughs> sounds like you're just hiding cum around your house and waiting for someone to find it. Yeah, it's like this an Easter old hunt, bones. actually. It's, l- it's like bones. a fucking Where's Waldo. <laughs> Getting warmer. Where's Kyle's DNA? <laughs> All right, can't wait. we've gotten a little sidetracked here. All right, so, so <laughs> yeah, a little. Do you, do you have any cum rags or anything that you keep around? Uh, no, I'm a little more discreet. I have not kept around, uh, you know, mementos of my shame. <laughs> what, what's the, what's the strangest place you've masturbated? <laughs> uh, how often do you masturbate? What do you think of football field? <laughs> He thinks of the podcast. <laughs> Football field. Yeah, I go back to the sweet times of sixth grade with the. He just lays on the. Oh. He lays on the ground and right as he's coming, he goes, "I'm sorry." <laughs> <laughs> I just wish someone would body slam me again <laughs> so I could feel. 
<laughs> so uh, last feel. time a man touched me like that. <laughs> Enough Stalin Keen and answer the question. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, what, what was the question? What was the weirdest place I masturbated? Just, yeah. just talk about you masturbating for me. I don't know. I don't really pick weird places, I guess. <laughs> um, sure, no, surely there's <laughs> one place in the history of Keenan where you've masturbated that you've gone, this is a weird place to masturbate. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, or have sex. You can include that <laughs> if a you couple. need more material. All right, Ale- oh, while, yeah. while you're thinking, Keenan, Alex, you go ahead. Uh... Is in the woods weird? Yeah, no. that's pretty weird. Moderately, that's a little weird. but not really. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not extremely bizarre, but yeah, it's well, not. Depends on how you got there. Did yeah? Did, were you like running yeah, from I a mean, serial killer? It's or? weird if you were kidnapped by aliens and then left there, and you your first thought was jacking <laughs> yeah. off. But otherwise, no. Were you like raised <laughs> with wolves and that? just took a minute to yourself? I mean, I was doing a live action like role play of Slender. Guys, <laughs> 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 nice, hang on, I need a minute. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Me, he's gonna catch me. He's gonna catch me. He's gonna oh, catch me. He's gonna. Catch I can't. Me. I can't help it. The page on the tree is a cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> Discover That's Africa. The fact that <laughs> <laughs> you fucking would lean. Over. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It is so bizarre. Alex is loving the fact he came on tonight. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. It is oh, so bizarre. Oh. I don't understand the thought process behind that. <laughs> Behind what? Waist level. Behind, Behind you cheetah. masturbating on a poster. And keeping it. <laughs> I don't oh. know. It's probably just something in Turkey, like a tradition. Everyone has their own poster and they just keep around. It's all different animals. <laughs> they get together and hold a zoo. <laughs> Once a year, they all go to the zoo and everyone just takes turns. They, they trade posters like Yu Gi Oh cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you two elephants for a seal and a monkey. <laughs> Easy. Mint condition. Only four layers of gum. <laughs> the, the grand prize ones were thousands of the laminated ones. Oh, uh, laminated. <laughs> <laughs> Hot glue. The so, a- Alex, any, any other any other strange places? The woods isn't that strange, so... Yeah. Well, t- there has to be a story behind that. Why were you in the woods masturbating? He just said. He wanted to just... <laughs> well, no, that would be the real reason. Slender. If it is, I want more because that that's tasty. Yeah. Let's hear more about that. That is tasty. You're, just, you're trying to like push the spotlight away from you, Keenan. I want to hear about you. Well, I don't have anything interesting, guys. I don't. But I can't make one up. I, mean, that's fine. And Alex I got a, I got a question, but I want to hear Alex's story first. Yeah, Alex. Go. Was it really slender Which live story? action that led to you jacking off in a forest? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. That's not what it's going to say in my exposed video. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was it then? <laughs> uh... I can't. Re- I was like a young um, kiddo who had a lot of pent Ooh. up sort of yeah. sexual frustration from an encounter I just had. So I just <laughs> ran into the woods and jerked off. It ran. <laughs> ran. <laughs> like I can't take like, it anymore. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> like <laughs> like Charlie cover. from Willy Wonka at the start, <laughs> where he's running through the streets. <laughs> yeah. I like to imagine like paintball. He's diving over obstacles and like jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> like like a Scooby Doo cartoon. He pops <laughs> out of the bushes and has like shifty eyes and sneaks around. Looking for the perfect I spot. I found, like, a drug den as well. There were, like, heroin needles all over the fucking place. That's fuck. where his crippling addiction started. <laughs> yeah. Charlie, you had a it's question for place. Keenan. Yeah, I got a question for Keenan. So Go for it. Pretty much following along the same lines we asked, Alex, I think it's I think it's apt that we ask a question about YouTube channels since our guests are from YouTube. Do you have any big plans, any big things cooking up that you want to talk yeah. about and that you feel passionate I see you. about? ICU. ICU is building up, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I see. Is the big thing. That's uh, that's the game that I'm working on. I basically like. It looks amazing. During the day, I'm working on developing this game with a colleague of mine from school. Um, and then at night, I go back and I live stream and make YouTube videos and all sort of stuff. So I'm kind of like busy, busy. You know, yeah, yeah, living both sides of that life. But now um, you're gonna have to give all that up to come on the official podcast each week. So yes, yeah, so now that I know this is a regular commitment, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah, carve some leave. space into that to uh, <laughs> don't live don't this worry. life as well. Don't worry, Alex can take over. Put the game like <laughs> it is on Steam, like everyone else does. Yeah, okay. I'll just put on these like you know couple early of, access, couple Ooh. weeks worth of, of source code. Just how, throw it up there. How, how's it coming along? Because I saw the Kickstarter, and I was excited about that. <clears throat> yeah, far, yeah, it's been going well. Um, I don't know. There's, there's, it's a long story. I don't know if I want to get into the whole whole deal here, but essentially, I mean. We're kind of in like a another 
period of limbo where we're kind of hiring, you know, some help to, to help, you know, help finish the game. But we're also like trying to make sure that we, uh, you know, the the long like the short term plan of when we can release it versus the long term plan of what it needs to be to mm-hmm. like raise enough money to keep making it yeah. is uh, intact. So it's it's a lot of work. It's a it's a very different kind of you know experience than what it takes to do YouTube videos. So I'm mm-hmm. trying to like you know balance both sides of my personality because you know one's like very business driven, the other one's like entertainment. So yeah. Um, well, yeah, good. but that's that's the main thing. I'm excited. Other than that, uh, yeah, so you, I appreciate you'd that. You say for sure time. now that like YouTube is mostly just recreation. You're not really investing a lot of work ethic into it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, I not maybe not I that do put, like a lot of, but it's not your main. Focus yeah, I mean, to drive. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I've never seen YouTube as like my end all career. I've never wanted to just like end up just being a straight YouTuber. I've always like enjoyed my hobbies, my passion projects. So you know, I've always wanted to get into game development, and so I you know. I was doing YouTube way before graduating high school, but I decided to go to USC and like study game development because I wanted to like make that my career. Um, but I still like YouTube's like you know where I blow off steam. It's like it's a place where I can be my myself and my personality and not have to you know like be professional. Sort of, I mean, you can be somewhat professional on YouTube, but you don't really have to. So it's been kind of like a nice uh, breath way of to live that. breath of air. Oh. Just kind of relax and just have yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that exactly. leads me so. to. A- thought like do, do you guys are you uh do you agree with the people who you know are those people who think that youtubers youtubing is not a real job or do you think it is no way it's a real job for sure i mean i've Editing's i mean hard. even if you don't like count like my own work i i know plenty of youtubers that you know give their heart and their soul to this thing and you know especially once you start living by the numbers and like you have kind of views that go up and down you have subscribers that go up and down you've got like different I seasons with different like ad revenues just it's see. like you got to plan all this stuff you got to think of what people want to see you've got to like hear their feedback but pick pick uh, which of it is like worth responding to and which you need to like ignore and do your own thing it's a really fucking hard but, job but then so. there's but then there's youtubers like alex which are just lazy and they don't <laughs> do much okay yeah they exactly then they're not but they're, they're, they're not they're, they're not real like workers of youtube are they but then there's places like rooster teeth where there's hundreds of employees working their damn hardest <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's this exactly what i was about sponsored by rooster teeth rooster teeth please <laughs> hire me also i i know you wanted to save this as a big reveal Keenan, but i think it'd be good for all the avid listeners of the official <laughs> podcast uh to the person out there that watches this if you do purchase keenan's game in the future there's an easter egg for the official podcast in there for your pleasure isn't that right keenan oh yes you made that announcement for me <laughs> i was really excited to make that but man yeah, it, i'm so happy to finally confirm starter goals e- or reward rather <laughs> yes each you of just your... have to be a leper poster oh i was gonna yeah, say that heads. you fuck oh my god that's a good idea okay you or know a what? ghost video even please yeah, or a right. video of a <laughs> ghost exactly. leopard both of these I like. I, I want, you know, remind me in like a couple months' time. I would love if someone would just, you know, <coughs> to ping that ping me again with saying either yeah. the, the leopard thing or the ghost thing. We'll slip that in somewhere. Don't be that hard. Just let me I, know. I, I can no give you like HD footage of me shooting cum if you need it. <laughs> yeah, oh, perfect. You can get all See, the right angles, better. We'll have physics, <laughs> fluid <laughs> dynamics. So, like, if the player. If it's like if the player does like the Konami code while looking at the the leopard like <laughs> poster in the game, it'll just load up a <laughs> HD video of just terrible porn. You have to it'll change like, the rating of the game from PG to like R. Yeah, AAA. yeah. Once they discover that, my my career is over. So. <laughs> or maybe it's just begun. <laughs> or maybe it's just begun. A whole different facet of the games industry that I did not know about. There <laughs> maybe that's what you needed. You're right. Yeah, I need to differentiate. This is good. I'll just be that guy that makes weird leopard related <laughs> porn uh, are games. You, actually serious question are you worried about ICU underperforming is there like a certain uh, target um, that you're aiming for I mean every every indie title is worried about yeah. you know people not finding their game but, literally everyone um, who has ever done anything is worried <laughs> yeah but like I mean the whole angle we're, we're taking about ICU is like question, trying to make Jackson. it <laughs> shut up just let him answer no, he's still talking I mean, about no, he's it got, oh. he's got he's got like real purpose Crack and I. Hey, I mean, let, a lot of the. Let me ask you: Are you worried about succeeding? 
<laughs> How do you deal with it? Can you, can you, let, me, let me ask you a better question. Do you want your game to succeed? Oh, yeah. yes. Yes, sir. Please. Yes, please, I would. Then Thank you, you came on the right it. podcast. <laughs> I'm just asking. Kraken, please, just answer my question. Yes, Don't. yes. Okay. Don't stop um, stop changing the subject, Kraken. Can you, you can open Don't up to us. <laughs> open my, up to my us. My answer would be... Of course, you know, there's always the worry, but I think the angle we're taking is trying to make it, like, because I come from YouTube and, like, Twitch, I'm trying to bake that into the design, like, a very basic level. So, like, instead of just designing a game that's fun to play, it's, like, at its core, a game that's fun to watch as well. Yeah. So, you know, if nothing else, even if it's, you know, not bought by a whole lot of people, I at least hope that it'll be bought and kind of entertaining and enjoyed by, a you know, of different people, both yeah. the people that buy it and the people that watch the people that bought it and, you know we're trying to come up with like some sort of model to make that actually like financially viable because you know all games right now just rely on like you you buy it and then you have it you know yeah. have fun so we're we're trying to like just make that all baked into the, the design the, from the beginning here's the yeah here's a tip then keep the cam whore market in mind i mean the, oh yeah i don't I mean, know how to think of where the game designer i guess so you find a way i mean for... so without translating to is like where are they going to put the camera right like imagine yeah exactly so there's the whole screen like of where the game is in the game like hey show your tits exactly to proceed <laughs> i mean the uh well, <laughs> well the... i wouldn't go that far but you, you basically <laughs> we have to think of you can't have every corner of the screen being used right you got to like yeah. think of a mm. good place where they could put the camera or whatever they want that's not going to like you know, get rid of information that the viewers need to see. Yeah, so I mean, the, yeah, the viewer market's incredibly smart because at this point, with the explosion of Twitch and shit, like more people are kind of watching games than actually playing it themselves. Mm. Yeah, exactly. even the podcast market it. is exploding. A lot of people are just listening to games on the official podcast without even playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Alex, do you have right. a game coming up that we can? I'm gonna make a podcast to? game next. Oh yeah, yes, it's all audio you based. should. The official game. Can you make it? We need to the official it. game. The official game. That's great. Of course. <laughs> Press A to jerk yep. off onto a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> Kraken, you're hired. Oh, thank you. Thank God. <laughs> you joined the podcast. The this second is he agreed quite the on. interview process. Definitely unlike anything I've gone through before. Yeah, we, we haven't been recording at all. We were lying. <laughs> it was just me. <laughs> okay. This groups. was an interview. <laughs> this is an interview you hired. Alex, I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. <laughs> We're kidding. Fuck. You can bring your friends too. Bring as many people as you'd like. In fact, does your parents <laughs> want to join? What we're trying to say is, please, for the love of God, start bringing people on. <laughs> All right. So uh, I have a question, and uh, we'll keep it rolling. No. What is your favorite food? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good question. This all Jackson's shit on Jackson's questions, ass. but then Jackson, stay out of this. <laughs> Keenan, please. Right. I'm so sorry for my rude oh, guest stars outbreak. Yeah, no. It's so rude. Understood. I'm a prima donna. A podcast veteran such as yourself should have to put true. up with this Australian bullshit. Hey, Keenan, <laughs> I'm your biggest yes? fan. <laughs> okay, good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that'll, that'll rope you... them in. Yeah, great. I mean, <laughs> food. Let's think. All right, focus on the food. What we got? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like a lot of cultural food, if that sounds crazy. I don't know. I like Vietnamese. Like Australian? I like Indian <laughs> I, I don't Aboriginal? know if Australia has any food. I've never heard of Australian food. Jackson, so. what do Aboriginals eat? Australian food is like I mean, sand and fosters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kangaroo. You guys eat kangaroo and crocodiles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Box yeah, Jackson, jellyfish. I've never had any of those. Isn't Kangaroo Jack a documentary? Uh, <laughs> isn't Crocodile Dundee isn't like it? a making of the, the uh, Australian <laughs> government? Is it? <laughs> I'm just asking you. Fun you fact. I don't know. Kangaroo Jack... <laughs> was the first and only film that I've been to a theater where nobody else was in the theater and I felt like <laughs> I had a private screen. So, thank what, you what's for that, Kangaroo Australia. Jack? Is that an actual thing? You've never it's seen Kangaroo Jack? Yes, it's Jack. a movie. No? It's, it's an anomaly of filmmaking. So it's this movie about oh, that fat beautiful. black guy from all those movies and that skinny white guy from those other movies and they gotta like kidnap a kangaroo in Australia but the people who made the movie were like this is an ass blast of an adult comedy how do we save this hunk of shit there's a single scene where they're tripping on either like mushrooms or dehydration and the kangaroo starts rapping and they use that through all the marketing campaigns to turn it into what appeared to be a kids movie and, and I like, saw it as a kid baby yeah me too every commercial every trailer had that scene it. and yet the whole movie's about them like smuggling drugs in a kangaroo's asshole or something <laughs> And, wait, and actually, wait. it's not that terrible of a movie. It's just a fucking garbage marketing ploy. 
the, it's Craig the Keenan's movie Keenan. review corner. Keenan was in it. Ask Keenan. him. Keenan, how did you like it? Keenan. <laughs> Wait, no, Keenan was in it. It was a different You're guy. You're right, it was Kel. It was Kraken? You're, you're no, all skipping no, no, the okay. violent so there's Keenan, here. You, you can... The SNL guy, like Keenan no, and Kel Keenan. No, it, was, it wasn't him. Keenan. It was the guy who's in... Uh, he, it was the other one. He's in Blackish now, I think. The it's Anthony oh, Anderson. Denzel Washington. No, no. It was Anthony <laughs> Anderson and Anthony then Andrew, yeah, that's it. Dweeb number five. What yeah, was the guy. vital part of information, though, Kaya? Uh, you can get tripping on dehydration. I didn't know that. No. <laughs> well, it was, mir- it was mirages. Yeah, mirages. That was okay. it. Yeah, I remember they were yeah. stranded in the desert. You can like lock yourself in your room and not drink anything for two weeks and be <laughs> like, <laughs> "Am I feeling it? Am I feeling it?" No, I'm just dead. We're dedicated to our work. I mean, Kaya didn't. We're the MythBusters of podcasts. Coder. What? Oh, and look at who look who's tukun, talking over each other now, Charlie and Andrew. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Huh? I didn't say anything so much. Sorry, I paused you. All right, can we can we go through some fan questions real quick before we? Alex, end this? you're you're really okay. you're kind of timid. You, you don't really strike me as the kind of guy who hates everything. You're yeah, like mellow. <laughs> you can unleash the beast, Kyle. Me? <laughs> yeah, I want him to unleash the beast. Wait, <laughs> me? Don't, don't do it, Alex. No, no, Alex. <laughs> he hates I everything. Disappointed supposedly, disappointed in Alex's performance is what he's saying. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get yeah. at. Like, we we did not too, get what we were honest. promised. Mm. Mm. Well, there's no beast to be unleashed. I'm afraid. You win some, you lose well, some. Well, on the upside, Keenan, that's, you have been an absolute fucking motto. treat. By God, <laughs> oh, the greatest I guest agree. we've ever had, I'd say. Yeah, well, I would agree you. with you. He's our first guest we've ever had. Alex yeah. has always been part of this. Alex has just always <laughs> had his microphone accidentally <laughs> muted every other episode. It's always been such a hassle. He screams without fail and never hears. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Kraken, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> We're not right, done here. Questions. We, we, beer questions. Can you just notice me, please? Let's do some beer questions. <laughs> Jackson, fuck hey, off. Do some beer questions. Please just ignore Jackson. He's been a horrible <laughs> guest this week. He's still in training. He hasn't watched all the employee videos yet. Do you want me to? Do you want me to ask some yeah. beer yeah, questions? Do it. Yeah. Kanan, okay. do you want me to? The gang's all here. Do it. <laughs> yeah, you've got <laughs> it, pal. I believe in you. Is that what you all want? right. So Jella Lishant asks, "What is your opinion on Club Penguin shutting down on March 29th? <laughs> we talked about we this. this. Yeah, but I I, I'm next. <laughs> I won't know, Keenan. <laughs> Keenan. Whoa! I didn't actually know that. That's yeah. Uh, it's sad, isn't it? It's, it's, sad. it's the end of a generation. <laughs> you didn't yeah. notice the exodus of all the pedophiles in your neighborhood? <laughs> 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 Why do they have to live there for pl- Club Penguin? Club Penguin. Club Penguin." <laughs> <laughs> I played Club Penguin back in the day. Oh, you bit. did? Was, hey, let us know. Tell yeah. us. How was it? Which which server were you on? That was last oh, I week, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this was like around the time I played football, so I, those memories have been thoroughly scrubbed from my brain. <laughs> Maybe we played like together. An old I, man who just reminiscing <laughs> about his prime like, oh, back in the days when I played I, football I played, and fucked I all the chicks. I played Puzzle Pirates a lot. That was a lot of fun. Puzzle Pirates? Play that? Let's play that. What's Puzzle Pirates? I've never heard of that. It was like... I've heard of it was a higher end MMO oh, it was. based around puzzles where you <laughs> would do a bunch of tasks related to being a pirate, like a sailing puzzle and like a, a build the water out of the bottom of the yeah, fucking ship Yeah, it sounds like puzzle. pirates right there. It's what the Somalians yeah, do. It was yeah, that's great. what they do. And they love puzzles. <laughs> they just solve riddles and crack codes. <laughs> yeah, it was really cartoony and cute. And I, I played poker for the first time, and I, all I did was go all in, yep. but I was really fucking lucky, and I won every hand, and I was ranked the top three poker player on the entire game. <laughs> what? And Holy Yeah, I, I got That's I awesome. got incredibly lucky, and I stopped playing, but I had so much money that I bought a fleet of ships, and then like in a, life. a pirate crew <laughs> was like, can you join our crew and bring your fleet with you? And I was like, yeah, okay. And then they kicked me out and stole my fleet, and I what? quit the game and never wow, played again. Wow, that was fucking Shout them out. Fuckers. Sh- what was I the don't name remember of the who they you were. You hear that PewDiePie and he, he were coming for you. <laughs> it was a real conspiracy. Did you just say really he he? I, that's what I, I say. I don't say that fucking H3 shit. Uh, he yeah, he. fuck him. <laughs> yeah, whoever whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. H3, H3, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> so, so wait, Jackson. <laughs> you said that if fu- you were my biggest fan. If fucking Ethan uh, comes onto this podcast, are you just going to be like, yeah, fuck off, Keenan. What's up, man? Hello, Ethan. How are you? Well, that'd be mean to say to, to Keenan's face. He's going to be here for when Ethan's on this podcast. <laughs> There's room in my heart for two. I got you, Charlie. Don't worry. But, uh, Keenan, do you think there's a ghost in Club Penguin? 
that we can suss out? Ooh, you know what? I are you are you suggesting one thing you're suggesting? Are, are we going to start a series called Ghost Hunters where we just go game by game? And I mean, make I up would, a bunch of fan theories I, about I ghosts. I would I would actually do that with you. Don't even toy that around. Like a lot of fun. Keenan, shop. You're you're poking a, a sleeping bear right now. No, huh? like, that could be sounds... cool. Like treat it like a ghost I... town. Go into a band. Yeah, we, it's games. like very serious and like. We just get a bunch of like interviews All with right. people, and we like Kraken. blur out their faces, and you know, <clears throat> I'll get my like, agent really to email like your agent, and we'll sort something out. That actually... Yeah, we'll, start, we'll figure something out. Okay, we'll get it on the books. All right, Snooky is cool. asks, "What is something that you hate that everyone seems to love, Alex?" Uh. <laughs> <laughs> something I Alex? hate yeah. that everyone loves. Yeah. yeah. Um. You have to, you're gonna have to come back to me. That's a no, yeah, he question. doesn't really think about those things. He doesn't hate a lot of things. He's too yeah. positive for this. Yeah, well, you're real <laughs> fake, huh? <laughs> Whoa. I'm really what? Sorry. A thick. fake. You're a phony. Thick. Yeah. Thick or fake? Both. I don't understand you, man. Fake. <laughs> you're a phony. <laughs> Scammer. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a what? You're not real. I'm a drama. You're a liar. I'm, not, I'm, I'm actually a ghost, mate. I'm not real. Oh, shit. <laughs> episode two. Here we oh, go. First episode. Yeah. The official Crack, podcast. Get on it. Where's your camera? His name is Alex. Has anyone actually heard from him? The ghost that hates bum, everything. Bum, 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 bum. You can do the game theory on if my channel exists. He said me. he played Club Penguin, but in a week, Club Penguin won't exist. <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> the plot thickens. Kraken, just watch your subscribers climb over this. Yeah. <laughs> I dubbed. Get on it. <laughs> This guy doesn't really hate everything. All right, so time time for France asks, and this one's for Charlie. How much of an act is critical, and how has your portrayal of him changed over time? Kraken, I think you can answer this one. I can this answer this like about him. More, this is more geared towards Alex, I think. Yeah, all right, Alex. <laughs> Podcast regular. Uh, as the owner of the official <clears throat> podcast, who's been here from the first episode, and also... Th- I also run the uh, the Penguins channel too. Um, <coughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm that person. It's Penguin Zero. You got to um, get it all in there. Penguin Zero. Um, yeah, it's been it's been uh, difficult balancing having that character as well as my own in real life. How have you dealt with the success um, though? How <laughs> have I dealt with the success? It's difficult. Being well, no. Here. Let's 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 being move on from that. Uh, Keenan, how has Alex dealt with the success? <laughs> Um, well, in the short 58 minutes that I've known him, uh, I've, I've seen him Are you dodge questions, I've seen him respond to questions, um, and generally just be a pleasant force in my life, and for that I thank him. Thank you, Alex. Hey, he's not your biggest fan. Wow. No problem. This should be our thing. This podcast could be a matchmaking podcast. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> just have two people on or, every time and hook them up. Or a fight club. We can get them to fight. Or a fight club. Yeah. I'm down for either one. We can either play football or hook up, whichever whichever you prefer. I'm down for either. That that would be an interesting topic. Like, would you like you go around and would you fuck or football someone? <laughs> Do you think they'd be moving on at, at screwing or playing a game of catch? Jackson, you Jackson, you so? said moving on, and please, by all yeah. Means. Well, I was waiting for you to finish. I just wanted to make sure you got everything out of that. There's fucking people in my lounge room screaming. <laughs> all right. <laughs> They're just fighting victims? over getting on the official podcast. You gotta tell them they have to schedule an appointment like <laughs> everyone really, else. You should really untie them, Jackson. Alright, so Hens Right Activists asks, Would you rather get a terrible hand job from your grandmother or a fantastic hand job from your grandmother? Fantastic, that's not terrible. even a question. Yeah. Fantastic. Yes, it is. Terrible. No, terrible. Fantastic. Terrible. Yeah, terrible. Fantastic. It's not a question. Terrible, because if you get a fantastic one, you're gonna associate it with just good feelings with your grandmother sexually. That's not what you want. Wait, so you want terrible? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'd rather have very unpleasant thoughts about my grandma that I could then block out instead of actually being into it. Guys? Sweating feverishly as you're jerking off, it's not as good as Nana. If it's a fucking, yeah. if it's a fucking hand job to completion, a nice one's going to go a shitload quicker. That's true. That's Think about it that point. way. Alex, are you going to answer it? Alex, yeah. are you going to give your grandma a hand job? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... It's not really a hypothetical if you already do it. Though. Oh, shit. That's a good point. Oh. Do you have a video the on your channel? Thickens. I hate giving my grandma a hand job. <laughs> <laughs> I hate grandma's hand job. <laughs> <video, no. laughs> they're, they're always so good. <laughs> Damn it, Ma- grandma. How'd you get good at this? All right. Hater115 asks, if Critical were to die, who would receive his channel? 
Charlie, Ke- I just want this Keenan, on record. Keenan Wood. Hell yeah. <laughs> Are you ready for the popularity? You're no. going to be a big YouTuber now. I think I'd probably just start, you know, submitting to drugs and, like, just like the pressure Charlie. would be overwhelming. Charlie, who would actually Next. get your channel? I think I deserve it. Yeah. Who do you think? Curse what would, would happen if you died? What would? Yeah, what, where would know. your stuff go? I don't know. <laughs> this is a scary would you shot. Want, it really would is. you want someone to continue on in your name? I don't know. Charlie. Oh. <laughs> Not fucking Roger Ebert. I don't pass the title <laughs> down to someone. <laughs> Charlie, we're trying Here, to this? write your what will we, on this episode. What man. if we formed like a collective, like a brain trust that like tries to replicate your your style and you know you we, we do enough episodes as you while you're still alive so you can green light it and then after that you'll know it's in good hands. We could just use guess, AI at that. We point. all we all form a death pact with skeleton keys and the last one to die inherits <laughs> everyone's channels. <laughs> everyone's channel. <laughs> to make That's one a great idea. Hey, channel. someone can get my 2000 subscribers. <laughs> um, I, I, I call dibs on that one. Oh. <laughs> you no, know, Jackson, just give me that one now. Or or it's like Secret Santa where we all are just parented <laughs> to a different channel by random. Oh and god damn it, I got die, just randomly goes to someone else. <laughs> that that could be interesting. We all make content and like we have to put it on someone's channel at random and just see what happens. Mm-hmm. This no, isn't no. happening. I would totally do that. I would. Everyone gets to that. put content on my channel. It's Let's grow it. <laughs> Let's do it, boys. <laughs> oh, last question. Isaac. Let's go. Uh, Pick a good oh, no, we've got three. Qu- we got three questions left. Isaac asks, if you could have someone narrate your life, who would it be? Mm. Keanu Me. Reeves. Yeah, I choose Keenan. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> no, I would choose my own. Like, I would just say my own night life. I'm not gonna trust someone else to get it right. Yeah. What does that mean? Like you from like 20 minutes in the future, maybe. Oh what? That's what extra that mean? detail for no reason. <laughs> oh, it's you if you were shitting at night. <laughs> what? <laughs> With a question mark. What? What is 20 minutes old me? Like, no, 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 no. Like. Jackson, you're blowing what? your chance with your biggest idol, man. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, Oscar <laughs> the Big Idol. Go, guys. Uh, this, I mean, yeah, it's been fun. Keenan, I'm, Sounds like, I'm really oh. sorry, by the way. I apologize. I, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think this would happen. I didn't do my research yeah, on right. Jackson. When Probably Alex was inviting guest good. stars, we thought you'd be a good case, but Alex apparently goofed. He didn't realize Jackson would be here. You, I guess you, it's the feelings of both two of you, but you know the rest of you are okay. So. All right. You really should have figured this out from the fact that I've only got 2,000 subscribers. Is that that's not a direct relation to the, how good a person it's is? A if I just went, yes, if I introduced is. myself to someone, I said, "How many subscribers do you have?" Actually, funny story. This is kind of a tangent, but I was in um, San Francisco at one point at a bar, and some guy walked up to me and like shook my hand and said, "Hey, show me your LinkedIn profile. <laughs> how many connections do you have?" And I was like, "What?" That's so and, awesome. And and I did. I, I I pulled it up and like here, this is it. And he's just like, all right, cool, we can talk now. And I was like, oh, oh god, that was I, uh, Nick Fury trying to I, recruit you. I kind of want a tangent on that. I go to a gym that's like a local gym. It's not a chain or anything. It's just like a whatever. And uh, I was in the middle of doing a set, and some guy that I see there regularly, like he he watches anime and plays video games, so we talk every so often. He comes up and he's like, hey man, I'm uh, starting a YouTube channel, and I was wondering if you could subscribe. I'm gonna like review new animes and stuff, and like. All that one. I was wow, like, yeah, I'll, I'll check it. I was like, yeah, man, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll watch your stuff. And he's like, cool, man. Just uh, just message me on YouTube after you subscribe, and we'll hit it up. And I did that. And then like a week later, I, I saw him again, and he just walked to me, and he's like, dude, you didn't tell me. And I'm like, what? And I was, he's like, you got fans. Oh. And I'm like, I, I, I guess not, not that many. He's like, dude, you should, you should have told me. Like, like what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, and he was, he was like, fuck? he was like weirded what? out by this concept. <laughs> and I Wait, felt why? Really bad. What? Like he, he was a nice guy, but it, it was just so awkward. It was like I, I never. Why mentioned no? It. But why why is he offended that you have fans? He wasn't really offended. He was just kind of like. You just can't believe it. He, yeah, he didn't believe it. He was like, you you didn't tell. He's his exact words were, "You didn't tell me you're YouTube famous," and I was like, "Ah, oh, I wouldn't say that." <laughs> yeah, who who goes around say like saying how many you. subscribers they've gotten? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Alright, Oscar the Beer Bong asks, Do you have any stories involving law enforcement? Oscar I think, the Beer Bong? <laughs> I think Alex is out. Is the resident bad boy here, so... Do you have any stories regarding law enforcement? Um, I am a, a bad boy, for I sure. I know, I know. You're my bad um, boy. I'd, I'd be worried about um, saying them on a podcast that's public, though. I might. Don't worry, we talk about pedophilia often here. 
It's a safe haven. Yeah, you're not talking about your your personal experiences with it, though. Uh, no, no, you did. You pissed wished. on your brother when you were like yeah. 19. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed this story. Yeah, this is this the last one. Tune in for the next podcast episode. You'll be he pissed on his baby brother. <laughs> in cold <laughs> blood. He literally, cold like, literally his episode was 45 minutes. It was cold minutes. bloody piss. It was 45 minutes <laughs> of Alex <laughs> ranting this story to us. We didn't even get a word in edgewise. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> Why are you releasing this episode first? We're not. <laughs> you just said... <laughs> You're gonna release this one we'll first. Oh, no, 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 you, oh, no. The one with you is going first. Yeah. We might. Then it makes sense okay. as to. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it would always be funny. <laughs> yeah, we, we should release the other one first, otherwise, this is kind of incriminating. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the other one's going Wait. first. Don't worry, Alex. Wait, we know you were only 17 when you did it. <laughs> oh, that's that's one below the age of consent. Well, that's no, good. it was fine. I mean, his brother was only 12 at the time, so you're in the clear. <laughs> you asked for it too. Anyway, in, in the UK, it's different rules over here. You're allowed to piss Uh-oh. on people. It's yeah, encouraged. At all times. <laughs> it's yeah, but encouraged. no, but no fisting them. That's a no-no. Yeah, that's off limits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But for real, anyone got any? Kai, I don't want you to answer this. Does anyone have any experience with law enforcement? <laughs> Kai, for your own safety. I'm like a white male shit. in America, so no, I'm totally cool. Why mm. do you gotta bring race into this? I mean, the cops did it first, it's man. <laughs> I mean, the most Jackson. I ever did was I got a fucking speeding ticket, and the guy was like, "I pulled you over for your unlawful speeding," and I went, "Oh, okay." And then he came back, and I went, "How much?" And he went, "97." And I went, "All right, great." And it turns out he meant that I sounds- was going not. Well, I thought I was That's, asking how uh, much money do I owe, and he went, "No, uh, he meant 97 <laughs> miles an hour." I was a fucking idiot. Jackson, pro- anything? Yeah. No, I'm a good boy. I just say, whenever anyone pulls me over or anything, I go, I've got 2,000 subscribers, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get back to them, they're expecting me. And they go, busy. right on through, sir, we'll give you a, a police video. escort. <laughs> get the fuck out of the way. Just shout me out on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to Officer Dingle. <laughs> yeah, this one's to you, Officer Ryan. Thanks for keeping me safe. He's got a gun to Jackson's head right now. Alright, the last question is from Unknown Ta- Taco. He asks, has anyone ever caught you masturbating? If so, tell us by who and about the resulting oh aftermath. <laughs> nope. Charlie, this is like the tenth time we've talked about this. Yeah, we've talked a lot about masturbation. Um, yeah, I think we should... I'm gonna yeah. give All right, sorry on the talk floor. I don't have any story. Again, I'm, I'm a stealthy masturbator. I have not been caught. I have not done it in a strange place. That's a good boy. I am completely you have not lived. How, how long did, Alex, how long did it take you? <laughs> I've had some close encounters. Of the third kind? Or? Is the third kind, like... It's where you stick a finger up your ass and stimulate your prostate as well. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. I've been too scared. I'm too scared of my boss. So am I. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, no, <laughs> You're I've afraid of your own ass? <laughs> when you shit yourself, I am too. do you no. scream? Yes. I'm not kidding, yeah. It, yeah. It's a thing. I don't like to touch my asshole or even be near Neither. it. Neither. Neither. Yeah. I feel like that's normal. It is. Mm. It's a gross well, area. Let, 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 let's not say normal. It's but from yeah, the man who weird. used to spread his butt cheeks in front of a mirror and stare <laughs> at it. <laughs> Yeah, sniff his was, ass and eat his earwax. Yeah, right. Really. Okay, I was a young. I was only eighteen at the time. This was right? last Cut week. Me some slack. So what did you grow up and become a pussy? Like what happened? <laughs> Just un- unhygienic. It's this was last week. There, like poop yeah. comes out. <laughs> all, all, go- all goes in. Yeah, that's true. Oh. All goes in. <laughs> that's a good question, Keenan. What was the last thing you had in your ass? That's actually an interesting <laughs> one. I mean, it, it doesn't uh, have to be unsanitary. Poop, I, think. I, I I don't know why you think you have to do anal right after you get off the shitter. Yeah. <laughs> Lubrication, as a, Kyle. As soon as you take a hot dump, honey, it's time! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good way to sign out on the podcast. That's how I, I greet my this parents every good. day. Yeah. <laughs> Kraken's ready to leave. <laughs> it's like the opposite <laughs> reaction of Alex. <laughs> 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 All right, who wants to end this podcast? Kraken, Keenan, do you want to? Do you have any shout outs that you want to perform? Any plugs? Oh, that you want to fill? Shout out to each and every one of you Aww. for being here That's for my first day on the podcast <laughs> and last. Oh. 
No, and no, no, that not is the last. That. I hope you all. Many. I hope you all enjoy Keenan as a permanent member of this podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see him next week, Brad and Ollie. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys, for having me. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 Keenan. <laughs> Do you want to actually give out like a link or no. anything to uh, yeah, ICU oh, or something plug, like that? Yeah, plug your stuff, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash kraken youtube.com slash kraken2 and uh, I don't know the game is kickstarter uh, if you look up ICU um, on that's kickstarter the, that's the letters I. right yeah yeah just all letters ICU uh, that's the that's the game too so those are my three things on twitter oh yeah twitter is at crickmaster yeah those are my those are all my do socials you wanna, do you want to give out a shout out to the ghost series that we're currently producing oh, yes uh, episode two of halo ghost series <laughs> is it real <laughs> question mark halo 3. Is uh, will be coming out in exactly two weeks from today. Um, I am executive producing, and uh, yeah, and it's it'll it'll be great. Just look out for that on YouTube.com. It'll be on Alex's channel. I hate everything. (laughs) Yeah, it's all organized. All right, and Alex, Alex, (laughs) shut up. Alex, do you want to give another shout out for your shit? (laughs) Yes. Um, make sure you tune in and watch um, my podcast the official podcast <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like him <laughs> and make, make sure you watch my channel the <laughs> where he pretends <laughs> he hates stuff <laughs> yep that's all alright uh, thanks all right. everyone for watching this episode of the official podcast we've got a SoundCloud iTunes and subreddit just google it you'll find it it's the official podcast on each of those different places uh, we've got a website as well you find it in the description all links in the description uh, thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you next week. Yep. Thanks for coming on, Keenan. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks both. for having me, guys. Yeah, both thanks, guys. Thanks for coming on my podcast. Yeah, Both of you. Yeah, really, thank you, both of you. Especially Alex for booking Keenan for today. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard work, but it worked out in the end, I think. He's really one of yeah. the best stockholders in the official podcast we have. Yeah, really. All right, All right. <laughs> see you. See you, everyone. See you. Bye. Goodbye, Internet.